A new car and 650,000 Naira have been presented to a 400-level medical student from Ocean State, Victor Ademo, who emerged grand winner of the second edition of Oshun Independence Day essay competition and prize presentation. 50 participants took part in the competition with 25 from various secondary schools in the state and 25 Oshun indigenous from different tertiary institutions across the country. The competition was held in Oshugbo at the instance of the State Ministry of Regional Integration and Special Duties as part of activities to mark Niger's Independence Day. The grand winner of the tertiary institution's category, Victor Ademo, got a car and 650,000 naira, while the first runner-up got 300,000 naira, a laptop and a printer. Um, this competition is um, fair and um, I like that the judging and the, um, the assessment was done by me. So I'd like to say to everyone out there that keep pushing. I have um, participated in a lot of competition. I have lost many. But then to God's glory, I want to be able to try. Don't stop trying. It can be your opportunity. And I'm so delighted and the message I'm passing across even to students like me is that um, hard working actually pays. It's really pays. It's good to be hard working and not even working hard alone, working effectively. Because you can be working hard and at the end you won't get any tangible results. It's good to be hard, to be working, to work effectively, not just to be hard working, working effectively and working smart and also putting one, one's trust in God. It really pays. Similarly, the grand winner of the second discourse category got about 400,000 naira and a laptop, including all the gifts, while all the finalists got. 10,000 naira from the state government and other stakeholders. Commissioner for Regional Integration and Special Duties, Lekon Bathmos, said the competition is to encourage and promote the culture of education, particularly reading, writing and public speaking, as well as to spark healthy rivalry in education pursuit among the youths. Education is not only learning of facts, but training of mind to think. Today, our guest is an assembled, sizable population of youth to think and suggest probable solutions to the challenges facing us as a nation. To some people, this might not sound interesting, as the Shusei government has thought out of box and moved away from the conventional match pass to this assemblage. The second student discussed the Oshun State 30th anniversary and the future ahead, my perspective, while the tertiary students discussed security architecture, challenges and solutions in all the geographical zones of Nigeria. Chairman of the occasion, retired Lieutenant General Lamidi at the Oshun, lauded government and other stakeholders for supporting academic careers towards positive engagement, stressing that Nigerians should issue placing all blames on government. Security in our state, in our homes, in our integrity today, is not solely the responsibility of the federal government. No, it is a collective responsibility. And as of today, many of our problems stem from us. The maiden edition of the competition was held last year on October the 1st. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.